What it do, credit kings and queens? It's your boy EJ coming back with a video today. Video five, if I remember right? Four or five. Don't quote me on On uh, the new journey to, you know, get my credit score to 800. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome y'all. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, today's video is just off in the title. I'm going to be talking about my Discover card. Um, again, if you're still kind of wondering what's going on here, you're here for my older videos. It's going to take a little bit of a long time to get you know people acclimated to what's going on here. So if you're looking at for my old videos or anything like that for my vlogs, link it down in the description for my vlogs. All the videos, explanation on why I switch is here. I think it was that. I think it's here. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of this. As you all know, this year I've decided to take major steps to increase my credit score because I believe credit is king. I mean, other believe credit is king and you can use credit to elevate your life, to get things that you want and leverage, you know, that's the big thing. So I've decided to start off, you know, I've, I've had a history of credit cards, kind of messed up in, you know, in the past. So now I'm trying to string things out and do things right. So um, over the summer, I applied for the Discover It card. Now the Discover It card, I have the secure version. Yeah. You gotta start somewhere. So I decided just to go the safe route and apply for this the secure card, which has a much higher guarantee rate. You can still get denied. People don't. I don't know why people don't believe that, but you can get denied for secure cards. More yes, you can get denied for security cards, especially Discover. Discover has a much higher uh, stringency when it comes to credit. You can still be kind of low and get it, but they 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 nitpick a little bit more than a lot of other security cards. So to get one of these, you gotta you know you gotta be pretty good, even if you're bad, you still gotta be pretty good. So I got mine over the summer, and I've used it, been using it like crazy the last few months. I've been using it like crazy for the last few months. Um, I actually kind of messed up recently with this card. Um, I made a purchase while my statement date was approaching like the day before my statement date I made a big purchase for dinner and it kind of messed up my uh, utilization so my, my utilization for the card now was at 55% so it's kind of messed me up like I knew that my my statement date was tomorrow the next day but I wanted those cash points you know they could do in the cash back that this is one of the few cards that give you rewards that's the security card cash match at the end of the year so I wanted the points so I kind of used it and, I'm paying for it now. My score dropped a few points, but it'll come back. I'm not sure. I'm not too worried about the scores fluctuate, but that's another, another subject. This card. So, as with all secured cards, you have to put down the deposit to the bank, and whatever you put down, that will be your new credit limit. Now, I started off with 200, and I've added an extra hundred dollars since then, so now my credit limit is at 300. I plan to get it to 500 before I'm done. And the great thing about secure cards is once you unsecure or once you close that card, you get that money back. So whenever they give me the unsecured version of the Discovery card, they give me a credit limit increase and they give me my money back. So that's always a plus. Get $500 back. I love it. <laughs> so that's my goal. Um, also with security cards, you also have to remember that they are a real credit card that they report to all, well, this card. It reports to all three credit agencies. Um, they will let you know in the app. You have full access to the app, just like everybody else. You have it's just like a real credit card. It's stuff you just you gave them the money instead of you. They gave you the money. So that's the only difference. And like I said, this card does offer cash back, but I get two percent cash all back on restaurants and gas, and one percent on everything else. You can go up to a thousand dollars in cash back on each quarter. You gotta be spending a lot on the card to get a thousand back, and I'm not there with a five hundred dollar limit, three hundred dollar limit. So. <laughs> I'm not gonna get that just yet. And like I said, at the end of the year, at the end of the one year mark, they will match whatever you got. You also have access to your FICO score. Um, it is Experian 9 if I remember right. You do have access to it. It's not the full credit score report, but it's like a snapshot of the same thing that a lot of creditors use anyway. So you can see that. This is a no annual fee card. This is very important. If you're starting out credit and you're trying to, you know, establish yourself, you don't want to have an annual fee that's popping up every year for that card. You got to think about it. For the lifetime of that card, you're going to be paying X amount of money every year just to have that card. You, when you're first starting out, you don't want to pay $30, $40, 50 $100 for a card, which Fresh Premier Bank and, you know, all those below 
be hounding banks, they charge you like $100 for your first year, stuff like that. So credit score that you're gonna to wanna to have around this, for this card, I would say nothing less than a 525. I mean, because they're a little bit more stringent. Most security cards, like you're gonna get them on this, they're gonna secure you anyway, most cards. But there's a few like this, this is one that will deny you if you don't have a high enough score or don't have enough uh, history. So they, they want a little bit to show for it. Like they want to see a little bit on your credit report and they want to have a, a decent enough score where they can trust you. Um, so I would say no less than 525, but it, it depends. If they do deny you, there's nothing wrong with calling them up and asking for a reconsideration. Um, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if they have a dedicated reconsideration line, but just calling them and asking them about it can't hurt. You know, they have an excellent uh, customer support uh, line. The, the messaging, you can message them right from your phone, like a, like a text message, straight from the app. So, and they'll let you know when this notification is coming in. So, I love their uh, customer service. So, if you are denied, just feel free to just give them a call and ask them what's going on. So far, my thoughts about the car is I absolutely love it. It's, it's, a, it's a decent card, like I said, you get 2% for gas, and that's my biggest purchase, is gas, because I drive like 70 miles to work, back to work, so <laughs> I use a lot of gas. So that's a good perk for me. If you When you're looking for security cards, you might want to get stuff in, if it has the voice, find something that's gonna work out for you, and you know, just, just go for it. You, you can't hurt to just try, shoot your shot. Yeah, you get an inquiry. Um, there's ways to remove inquiries and I'm gonna do experiments with that on my channel too so stay tuned for all those but all in all man discovery it is a great card um, would I recommend it absolutely especially as your first card if you're just starting out or you're trying to rebuild this is a perfect card to start out with you got zero annual fee you get cash back you get everything you get from a normal credit card virtually on a security card and you can add up to $50 increments at a time um, every eight days. So after you, if you're trying to get an increase, you can add $50, wait eight days at a post, and then you can add another $50. That's if you want to keep your credit, you keep building up on it. So it'll be virtually a savings account for you, and, and, and in a way, it's a savings account for you. You get that money back when they unsecure you. Now, I've heard of horror stories, you know, people had this car for like two years and they had it unsecured. But if you're using it right, I'm hoping, you know, that I'm, I'm using it right because I, I, I use it and I pay it off. I keep a, lot, so a small balance or zero balance except this one time for this month where I have 55% utilization. But if you use it right, there's no reason why they shouldn't unsecure you. So I'm hoping to be unsecured in the next, uh, and they review your account after eight months to see if you can be unsecured. So I'm hoping around March, February, March, I'll be unsecured fully with this card and get that money back same around my run time that tax return hits too so get that money back tax return you know what i mean so it's gonna be nice if, if everything goes with this plan because i'm gonna use that 500 for this car i'm gonna use the 500 from i'm gonna get from this car to put on a secured business car that's a whole nother story Wells Fargo, i'm coming for you but all in all this is a solid car i would definitely all in all, I would definitely recommend this card. It's definitely worth your time. Um, reach out to Discover. Um, I have a link below. If you guys want to get this card, use my link below in the description. Um, if you do, I, if I remember, I see it's 50 bucks. I think we both get 50 bucks. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think we both get 50 bucks if you use my link and you're approved. You put your money on it and you get started. So, matter of fact, I have it in the comment section. Because, <laughs> oh, actually, let me look. All right, so yeah, I found it. So you get 50 bucks uh, statement credit when they get the card, and I get 50 bucks statement credit when you guys actually get the card. So we both get 50 bucks, just like I said. Yeah. And you, you get alerts on this card for if you have any purchases or anything like that. You can add the authorized users. It's like a full card. So you guys definitely look into this card if you get trying to get started. That's pretty much it for this video. It's not, it's not gonna be long. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And make sure you guys write in the comment section if you guys have this card, you have any questions, how you feel about the card, anything like that. Leave it in the comment section. Let's get the conversations going. <laughs> but yeah, um, you guys stay up. Make sure you get your credit score up. Catch you guys in the next video, man. Discovery it. If you guys see me, I love you guys' this card. Catch you guys in the next video, man. 
I'm out.